Movie lovers, I have David Permit right here at the 89th Academy Awards, and he's a producer of Hacksaw Ridge. How does it feel to be here? I mean, it's been a long season and all these great nominees and stuff. How does it feel to be right here and see your movie up there? To am I here or am I dreaming? I, I feel like I'm going to wake up soon. It, you know, it's been a long time. This film has uh, been on a 16-year journey uh, myself to get this movie made. So it's a bit surreal in answer yeah. to your question. You know, it's... Uh, Am I really here? You know, I yeah. keep kind of asking myself that question, but it's a very, uh, I'm very honored and privileged to have worked with all the people who made the film a reality over, over time. And Mel Gibson, obviously the captain of our ship, yeah. uh, for him to be back in the saddle and back in the director's chair, which he'll, he'll be for a long time, hopefully, and give us great movies in the future as well as Hacksaw Ridge now. Hey, how about Andrew Garfield's performance? I mean, it, he's been in a lot of great movies, but this seems like it's, it was an elevation with Distant Silence this year. Well, you know, Andrew, I saw him on Broadway. I saw him in uh, Arthur Miller's play, Death of a Salesman, with Seymour Hoffman and Mike Nichols, and I've seen all his film work. He's one of the most thoughtful actors. You know, he's got so much going on behind the eyes, and especially with a character like Desmond Doss in Hacksaw Ridge. You know, I think we all felt a great level of responsibility in getting the story right, because this is based, as you know, on a true story of a man who passed away 10 years ago um, Desmond Doss, it honors his legacy, having saved over 75 men in the most brutal battle in the war without ever firing a weapon, which is miraculous and heroic in, in, in unfathomable terms. But we felt, Andrew, as well as everyone else, felt a responsibility. So he went back to his birthplace. He went back to Chattanooga, Tennessee, where the church where he prayed. He literally morphed into Desmond Doss's character. I met Andrew when we started filming. I, he disappeared. I never saw Andrew again. He became Desmond Doss, and Andrew only surfaced after we had our last shot in the movie, and then I saw Andrew again. But the entire film, he really became Desmond Doss. Every, every pore on him, every hair on his head, he literally morphed into a character. He's such a dedicated and committed actor, and it was an honor and privilege to work with him. And, and of course, Mel Gibson. You know, our, our cast and crew would lie in front of the tracks for Mel. You know, he's, he's an amazing uh, filmmaker to to watch his process and to learn from him. Last question, does getting a nomination, does it, does it inspire you to like get back, right back in the lab and get all the projects going or, or does it make you kind of like want to take a, you know, just, re, just relax for a while? Then? I'm going to retire uh, tonight. No, I'm joking. I'm not <laughs> retiring. It does, you know what? I, I've always dreamed about doing what I'm doing since I'm a little kid. So I started my career as a young teenager. I always wanted to be in the movies. I always wanted to produce movies. So I'm the luckiest guy on this carpet, I can tell you that. I'm doing exactly what I love and what I have a passion of doing. And with Hacksaw Ridge, it took 16 years to get it made, but it happened at the right time. You know, when you think about the thematic of the movie about a man who stood by his conviction, you know, and when you think about the military, they're on the front lines for a reason. So we can express ourselves in our own ways, regardless of our nationality, regardless of our color, regardless of our religion, our sexuality. And that's Desmond Dawes' sacrifice for us. And so I think there's a relevance to this story about a forgotten hero who's no longer forgotten. So um, in answer to your question, I get right back into the game tomorrow, you know, looking for the next great story to tell. You know, it inspires me to stay around. You know, I think somebody asked me one time what a producer does. And I said, a producer is impervious to rejection. You know, there's a sea of no's, but all you need is the one yes. And it's true in life. You know, we all have to be impervious to rejection. But especially in the movie business, you know, it's always pushing boulders up mountains like Hacksaw Ridge. But it happened at the right time. It wasn't meant to be 10 years ago, five years ago, during the course of development. It was meant to be today, right now. There's no accident. Congrats.